2023, government owed the independent power producers, IPPs, about $1.6 billion. The IPPs rejected a government proposal to restructure its arrears owed them. This non-payment could lead to a shutdown of their operations and also create a huge power shortfall as the IPPs control over 65% of available thermal generation capacity in the country. In an interview with Energy News, the chief executive of the chamber, Dr. Elikli Mafethogbo, said with the present state of affairs, the IPPs are not in favor of any debt restructuring program as proposed by the Ministry of Finance. This is very basic to understand. The areas in question are largely obligations that we have accrued to our key stakeholders, suppliers, lenders, and others. So the IPPs have defaulted for a fact in their loan repayment schedules and are incurring penalties for non-payment. So imagine someone proposing to restructure a debt that is already overdue and not even a proposal has been made on how do we help solve the situation. I find it difficult to understand from a private investor point of view. This is not investor friendly. It is practically impossible to run a power plant without a regular cash flow. We have done a lot to keep the lights on all this while. I cannot guarantee sitting here our availability on the grid in the coming days. Meanwhile, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, blames shortfalls in Ghana's energy sector on factors including low tariffs and a take-or-pay contract, which it said had cost government.